Thanks for staying with us this midday. With Hurricane Adalia making landfall this morning and the devastating wildfires that we've seen in Maui, relief organizations are actively trying to support those in need. But sadly, that's also an opportunity for scammers to take advantage of these moments of vulnerability to deceive donors. Well, here to break down the tactics that they use to do this and how to give responsibly is Randy Hutchinson with the Better Business Bureau. Hey, Randy, Hi. how are you? Yeah, good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Really timely topic we're talking about, too, because oh. just like we've seen in Hawaii, we know the people in Florida are going to need some help, too. So do scammers really use tragic events like this to try to take advantage of people? Unfortunately, anytime there's a natural disaster or some sort of a human tragedy, uh, you can count on two things. Good people will want to help, will want to donate. Bad people will want to take advantage of their generosity and try to steal those donations. Well, Randy, what are some ways that people can donate responsibly after a crisis or tragedy? Oh. Well, first, the, the Better Business Bureau encourages people to donate, to help out those in need, whatever the problem is, but do it wisely. Be sure that your money gets to them and not to the wrong people or uh, other forms of donations. Uh, watch out for vague appeals that aren't clear about how your donation will be used. What does help the people of Maui or help the people in Florida really mean? Uh, support experienced or consider supporting experienced organizations that stand ready to provide quick, uh, effective assistance, may already have uh, boots on the ground. A lot of times, particularly with local uh, human uh, uh, tragedies, uh, local groups will pop up wanting to help, maybe very well intentioned, maybe worthy of your donation, but not really experienced at uh, getting. Uh, the help to those who need it immediately. Uh, donate money rather than goods if you can. That's the quickest way to help. It provides charities the flexibility to buy whatever they need to get it uh, to the site of the disaster without having to transport it. Uh, instead of donating food, consider supporting a food bank near the impacted area. If you're uh, going to respond to a crowdfunding appeal, one of these uh, crowdfunding websites, always safest to give to someone you know, uh, someone you know personally, someone you trust, uh, review the platform's uh, policies, procedures, remembering that some crowdfunding sites vet appeals pretty good, others do not. Gauge the amount of your donation uh, to the, the risk uh, involved that it might not really get to the folks who need it. And then we re certainly recommend that you rely on expert opinions when it comes to evaluating a national charity. Uh, you can go to give.org, give.org, which is the Better Business Bureau's Wise Giving Alliance, uh, to check out whether a national charity uh, meets all of its 20 Better Business Bureau standards for charity accountability. A really great advice there. We, of course, are in the volunteer state, so you know we have big hearts, Randy, but you want to be uh, careful. Thank you so much for joining us this midday, Randy. Thanks.